So you grow up where? Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Your dad is a Harvard guy? Yeah, my like dad. Like a brilliant guy. My dad got a scholarship to Harvard. He came from nowhere in, like, the plains of Manitoba. Is it hard growing up being the son of a guy who got a scholarship to Harvard? Do they always throw it in your faces every yes. minute? You know, you know, your father got a scholarship, and he did everything, it, and he worked hard, and he had nothing. It was implied. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, but if he went to Harvard, he should have been able to give you everything. I know. Yeah. But he understood. I tell you, the greatest favor, the, the greatest gift my dad gave to me was I grew up fairly well off. I didn't grow up like rich, like a billionaire like why, this. Why, why wasn't he wealthy if he was a Harvard guy? What did well, he do? He, he was. He was a corporate lawyer for many years, oh, okay. and then he was CEO of Molson. He ran the beer company. Oh, so he is a wealthy guy. Yeah. He no. was CEO of Molson? He was CEO, which in, in Canada, Canada is that's royalty. Like, that's like running the country. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, it's, and it's great. And, uh, but he's, he's not that kind of like cigar chomping CEO type guy. He didn't play golf. Right. He, in a lot of ways... This is a crazy that I'm drawing this comparison. He's very much like you in his oh, personal yeah. life. Thank you. Which is, I'd like to run Molson. No, but you, and <laughs> yeah. you could. You right. probably could. But right. he was, you know, he 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 took uh, 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 intellectual pursuits. You know, he read and he did right. stuff and whatever. You don't drink, do you? I don't drink. Ironically, your yeah. dad ran Molson. Yeah. Did and he drink? He he did. He he has at certain times, but he's a very uh, moderate guy. That's uh -huh. the thing. W my dad is a, just a moderate guy. He did things in moderation. And the greatest gift I was going to say is that he always made me work. He was like, you got to work. So I went to school with all these rich And then he'd always say, you got to go work. So I worked at the airport as a baggage handler. Right. I dug ditches up in northern Manitoba. Well, he wanted you to have a sense of responsibility. And I was outraged. Believe me. When you have a father who's a Harvard-educated guy, yeah. he's running mulch, he's a successful guy. Yeah. Do you announce to your family, I want to go out to Hollywood and be an actor? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, well, I guess were they you, disappointed in you? I think that there was that. I, I'm, I guarantee you. I, I will give credit, a lot of credit, to my parents for not saying you're a fucking loser. You're a douchebag. Yeah, you're an right. idiot. <laughs> uh, and I did say to my dad, like, look, I think that I want to be an actor. And by the way, everybody wants to be an actor. Like, yeah, who okay, who wouldn't want that yeah, gig? Get in line. <laughs> were you a kid who acted in high school? Did a you go to plays? Bit, and a all little that? bit. Did, yeah. yeah. So I, there was a little bit of legitimacy to my, you know, uh, desire to go out there. But still, it was like, who the hell? And I know that everybody I grew up with in Toronto was like, guess who's going down to New York? Old loser pants. So for you to go do this took a lot of balls. Yeah, I didn't know one person. I moved to New York. I didn't know one person. Right, and you didn't ask your parents for money, I no, take it. You no. had to go and do these shitty jobs yeah. that you know you didn't particularly like. Yeah. And what do you do? You start studying acting? Yeah, I came down here and I went to Lee Strasberg. I thought, you know, when I was younger, I thought I wanted to be a serious actor. Mm -hmm. Right. Because nobody I, I was too stupid. I was always a, like just a goof off. And, and I, if somebody had said, hey, if you go to Chicago, you can do in improv or sketch or whatever. But I, right. I was too dumb to ask questions. Right. I I wish I had asked questions when I was a kid. I you wish just, you had someone to guide you. I and, wish. Right. I was so stupid. You had no mentor. Stupid. Or nothing. I had nothing. You didn't I'm know just, what you were doing. Just a fool in a fool's world. <laughs> it does look silly, the I whole do, thing. Oh, I, I have just been a fool my entire life. So then I, I come down here and I go to uh, uh, um, uh, what is it, Lee Strasberg because I want to be like a met. I want to be serious. I want people to take me seriously. Right. And, uh, and then everybody just ends up laughing at what I do. So. With that kind of husky, deep voice of yours, yeah. it, it, what, what, well, like, what kind of commercials do you do? Do you like you do? I do, uh, I do like, uh, uh, like GMC trucks. We are professional grade. Really? Wow, yeah. listen to that. Yeah. GMC. Well, don't, come on, don't get too that, good at is it. Is that how you do it? Yeah. GMC. But you don't need my gig. But how do you know how to do that? In other words, that's not your normal voice. No, it's not. You put on a voice. But I could, yeah, you kind of just drop into it. What do you do? Let me hear it. Do something. Uh, you say, uh, um, you know, you, you might be like, uh, uh, um, GMC, it's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. Whoa! <laughs> right. So that's you. But I, I will say this: you do stuff like that that's cool, and then you do stuff like, "Do you have thick, discolored, or flaky nails?" And then <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs>